Deacon. Hey. Is everything okay? What's wrong? Uh, actually, that's not why I'm here. Okay. Came by to see if there's anything you need for the uh, infirmary. Actually, we're running low on everything. I mean, we could always use more meds, sterile bandages, instruments. Uh, here. Hmm. A Liston knife. Yeah, it was used by doctors in the Civil War to perform operations in the field. Operations? Yeah, you know, when they didn't have any anesthesia or laudanum. I wrote down where you might be able to find one. <laughs> it's the brochure for the Visitor Center at Sherman Sherman's Camp. Camp. Yeah, yeah, the plate's crawling with all the freakers. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, uh, Deacon. Thank you. Chopper that night. Yeah, 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 I know, okay, but first, you gotta do something for me. Wait, what? You need something from me? Look, there's a digital display on your radio. I'm going to send you a coded message, coordinates. Meet me at that location. O'Brien, what the hell is this all about? Just meet me there. There'll be Nero soldiers all around me like before. Don't let them see you. O'Brien, out. Shit, that's right. I gotta finish burning out these nests. St. John, stop by the hot springs when you can. Tucker, I hear you. St. John out. I'll come back later. Finish burning out these nests. <laughs> oh, sniper on the road. Shit. Ah, uh, you feel that, huh? Got that sniper. There it is. Visitor's Center. Gotta find a way inside. I smell it. <clears throat> it's gotta be getting close. There's a fast. That's bad. More bounties. Thank <laughs> you. 
Not much left. This place has been picked over clean. Liston knife. This is it. Gotta get it back to Addy. Addy, I got that knife you were looking for. Thank you, Deacon. You have no idea how badly we need this. No problem. You might have helped. Someone's here. Hey, open up! It's that drifter. I worked at the Humane Society. Had a small office and a dog pen outside of Sisters. Had maybe a hundred... Hey. Oh. Here's that knife you were looking for. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. It's you. Just mind your store. Who the hell's in a ratchet wrench? Never mind anything. I know. This place is a mess. You go through a lot of this shit, yeah? I'll be here, if you there? need me. Later. You like this job?
All right, I'm here. Jesus, don't... Don't sneak up on me like that. Did you find anything out about Sarah, about the woman that I put on your chopper? Nothing. Nothing? Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. It's gonna take some time, okay? I'm risking my neck here. If anyone the, the back at HQ finds out, the, those guys with the guns over there, they'll the whole without the same question. Team, Brian. It just looks that way. Look, I don't have time to explain it right now, but it's why I need your help. My help? Just, look, just take it. It's a, it's a wavelength recorder and some GPS trackers. I just need you to... We're out of time. Look, I... Shit, I don't even know your name. Deacon, Deacon St. John. Well, look, Deacon St. John, if you want me to risk my neck helping you find whatever her name, uh, Sarah, then, yeah, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. Let's go. Keep the radio close. I'll contact you in a couple of minutes. You don't even know my name? Oh, you're gonna know it before we're done, O'Brien. And keep the radio close. It's been right here the whole time, you son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, how long do I have to wait now? Hello? Are you there, Deacon? Yeah, I'm here. Now, what's this all about? What do you want? All right, I put a blocker on this channel. It's secure. What do you want? I've sent a series of coordinates to your radio. I need you to go to those locations. What? Why? Just listen to me. There are several Nero task groups doing work in the field. I need to know what they're doing. Then why don't you ask them? I can't. Look, I said it's a long story. Dorian, I don't have time to get into it right now. Let's just say the men above me, way above me, are running a lot of field missions, all separate from each other. Nobody knows what anyone else is doing. So the world ends and you assholes carry on like nothing's changed. What? Where? I sent you the coordinates. Okay, Jesus, O'Brien. All right, I will see what I can do. Just get to as many of them as you can. There are active LZs, landing sites, sample drop-off locations. Yeah, yeah, I got it, but you better have something for me, O'Brien. Yeah, yeah, I got it too. Hold on. Brian. Yeah, I'm here. What do you, uh... One of our helos is heading towards your position now. You have to follow it. Follow it? Why? Just, just go! Don't lose it! Jesus, okay. All right. What's going on, O'Brien? Why am I out here in the shed chasing choppers down for you? Their destination's classified. I'm locked out of their files. So I can't give you the coordinates to their LZ. You have to follow them in. Jesus, don't you guys have spy, spy satellites? Shit like that? And not that I have access to, no. I told you one. Locked out. Yeah, I heard you. Don't lose them. Come on now. Can't let him get too far ahead. Better slow down. O'Brien, they're landing! Good. I have their coordinates now via your radio. You better go in on foot. On foot? Remember, you can't let them see you. O'Brien, I'm here. What do you want me to do? Each of these research units have a science guy. I need the like me, now. guarded by a bunch of goons. I need you to get close to the researcher. Good. The wavelength recorder is set to the channel we use to record data. We record everything they're doing. All good here. Okay, so you want me to sneak into an LZ filled with heavily armed Kevlar wearing soldiers who shoot on sight so that you can spy on some asshole wearing a pocket protector? Pocket protector? Really? I have a fucking PhD, asshole. Yeah, which stands for piled high and deep. Do you still have the tracking devices I gave you? Well, I was gonna sell them, but most of us don't have access to shit like, you know, satellites. Jesus, this is taking forever. Place one of them on their heel. Almost all of these filed missions include stops that aren't on the books. I'm gonna find out where they're going next. O'Brien. Well, you don't need to ask. 
I'm already looking into what records we have about where evacuees were taken. O'Brien out. It's just gotta be good. What the hell are you guys doing out here? Site 14 Alpha. I've confirmed a large male subject with confirmed albinism mutation. Subject has expected lack of skin pigmentation and reddish eyes. Muscle mass appears to be 40% greater than normal infected subjects. What was it you called them? Bleachers. Well, they're real. Well, this is only the third subject we've been able to study. As noted, their strength and ability to absorb damage make them extremely dangerous to approach. We've noted in other field reports that over a thousand have been spotted in this area. Whatever is causing the mutation, it's spread rapidly. <clears throat> Something what the hell, O'Brien? What's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. Your boys were carving out the guts of a freak while it was still alive. They're not my boys. And what do you care? Aren't you a... What do you guys Anyone else here that? Drifters? Don't you kill the infected for money or whatever shit you barter with? Yeah, I kill freaks, but I don't carve them open while they're still alive and listen to them scream. Did you get my data? Yeah, I got your data. Okay, I'm uploading it now. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Brian? O'Brien! Oh, ah, God damn it, he did it again. O'Brien, oh, talk to me. Ah, shit, you better be in touch, O'Brien. Oh, Our Raider Camp. Bunch of mean sons of bitches, aren't you? How many ambushes you set this week, huh? This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. It's with a heavy heart. And I report six deaths and two injuries from my camp this week. Not from the usual shit. No. It was those damn black choppers. Let me tell you, everything I've been warning you about is absolutely coming true. Heard those choppers touch down. Wiped out an entire group of men and women who were screaming and begging for mercy. Citizens of this country. Reload! And they down. Not many turned fire, but... 
somewhere. That did it. There's another one. Time to burn.
in the gate. No trouble, okay? Came by to see how the lazy bastard's doing. How you doing, uh, booze man? Are you are you tired of laying around yet, uh, boozer? Hey, you can't be in come here, on, Deacon. Come on, hey, come what's on, going Deacon. on? How's he doing? He needs his rest. Uh, don't mess around with me, Addy. I asked you, how was he doing? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, not good. Uh, it's cold. The They're not cold. enough. <laughs> Never enough. Now, wait a second. You said that I, I said that we would try. <sighs> Look, all we can do is wait. Uh, okay. All right. Deacon. Deacon. No, Deacon. there's. Uh, you Deacon. know what? There's Deacon. something I can do Deacon. about this. Stop. I can get. Stop! What? I know you want to smash something. I see that look yes. in your eyes. But you know what? You go right ahead, but you do it out there. Daddy, go. I can... Look. <sighs> there is nothing else you can do. Please. Just go home. Go home, Deacon. Deacon, Deacon. So, he gonna make it? Yeah, Schizo, he'll be fine. I just, he needs a few days. Come with me to the lodge. I wanna show you something. I got shit to do. I'm sticking my neck out here. Trust me, you're gonna wanna see this. Just, just listen. A couple of months back, this drifter comes into camp, telling all kind of crazy stories. Said he worked at the airport, was on the ground back in Farewell when shit went down. One night, they were expecting a flight in from Portland. Only it never shows up. The plane was doing a haul for the Red Cross. The Red when Cross. Out in the ship yeah. A few back. You getting it? We Medicine, saw a bunch of doctor shit, cargo board. hold full of it. Maybe even some of those uh, anti like uh, whatever the reason. fucks. I mean, Antibiotics. Like a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit like that. Just like that. Where? Hey, uh, keep your voice down, will you? Gone. Let's talk inside. I remember reading about it. So this drifter. He's working in the control tower when the plane disappears off the radar. Poof. Now you see it, now you don't. Right about here. South of Mount Washington. That's what he said. It came down intact. A controlled crash or whatever. The guys got to listen to the pilot bleeding out from a broken pelvis on the ground. Okay, so you haven't sent anyone to find this? Nope. Why not? Because the old man won't have it. Iron Mike, what's... Oh, right. Rippers. <laughs> you catch on quick. Everything west of the Iron Ridge here belongs to Carlos and his merry band of bald-headed freak-alikes. Oh, so you go over there and you get caught. You head north, brother. Otherwise, Iron Mike's treaty with rest and peace goes... Okay. No, 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 like no, I get it, I get it. Let me ask you a question. Why are you telling me this? Oh, wait a minute. First off, I'm not telling you shit. You remember that? Second off, you're a goddamn drifter. What am I supposed to do? Follow you around like I'm your little bitch, keep your ass out of trouble? All right. I have things to do. I get it. You're just a regular stand-up guy, right, Schizo? Just trying to stay alive, like everybody else. <sighs> hey. You do what you gotta do. At the end of the day, that's all we got. Do you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, Schizo. Keep your radio close. I'll be in touch.
yeah, Schizo, we can always count on you. Oh, shit, now what? Anything's better than standing around this shithole.